Ah, the good Max. I drink to your health. You'll need it. It'll also help me get through the shock. Get out. A little compassion, Max. After all, Rebecca was my favorite cousin, and what I learned today was not easy to take in. Her boat intentionally sunk holes in the hull. Who would do such a thing? Please get to the point. Fine. I have clear evidence to show it was not suicide. If you have such evidence, then why not give it to the authorities? Oh yes, I should, shouldn't I? However, that would spell disaster for you. Prison? The gallows? A young wife would be a widow. Oh, I truly just don't have the heart. Rather, I have a kind of agreement in mind. I'll scratch your back if you scratch mine. You understand? I understand very well. Fortunately, Colonel Julian accompanied me here. Colonel, come in, please. Good evening. I hope you're feeling better, Mrs. Stewart. Yes, thank you, Colonel. Jack Favell, my late wife's cousin. He has something very important to tell us. Favell. In June of last year, Rebecca sent me this letter. Only a few hours before she supposedly sailed out to kill herself. I have returned from London, and I'm going to the boat house. I'm waiting for you there. I have something very important to tell you, Rebecca. I ask you. Does that sound like the words of someone who intends to kill herself? Do you have any idea what the message she had for you might have been? No, I only know Rebecca never committed suicide. She had no reason. She was full of life. But there's a strong motive for murder. The jealousy of a vain husband. If you want to know who the killer is, there he stands with that goddamned arrogance in his face. Favelle has always hated me. You are making a serious accusation. Do you have any evidence? A witness? Here, you have what you need. Ben hangs around the boathouse day and night. He must have been there on the night of the murder. What did you see? Out with it! You're scaring him! Ben didn't do anything. Ben good? Ben, do you remember the late Mrs. De Winter? Please, not the asylum. Answer him! Ben, did you see anything unusual? Ben heard nothing. Ben saw nothing. She's gone, she's gone now, she won't come back, she's down in the sea, long gone, and never to return, she's sunken and drowning. An excellent witness, you may go. A conspiracy, everyone's in on it. The witness was unable to confirm your claim, Mr. Favell. As for murder, the letter gives nothing. You claim to have had a relationship with Rebecca de Winter, but can you even prove that? I can. Robert, bring Mrs. Danvers to the library with Rebecca's calendar from last year. Mrs. Danvers is just a housekeeper. Housekeeper? Don't make me laugh. Danny was Rebecca's confidant. You wish to see me, Mr. de Winter? Colonel Julian has a few questions for you regarding my late wife. You are at the hearing today. Then you know how Rebecca the Winter died. If she didn't kill herself, then it was murder. Killed herself? Impossible. Mrs. De Winter loved life. The only thing she feared was being sick. She always told me, if I have to die, Danny, then it has to be done quickly. Don't let me waste away. And what was her relation with Miss Sepharvel? He is her cousin. Come on, Danny, don't be a fool. You know exactly what he's getting at. I've already told the Colonel that Rebecca and I were lovers. Love was just the game to her. She was above that. She despised all men. Rebecca the Winter was in London on her final day. Hairdresser at 12, lunch at the club, meet Baker at 2.30. Who is Baker? She never mentioned that name to me. The phone number is there. Mr. Crawley. What do you call it? Operator, connect to London 687-0488. Mr. Baker, I... Who? Oh, yes, please. Ah, I understand. Yes, thank you. A private clinic. Dr. Baker has his practice there. A gynecologist. <laughs> 
That explains everything. Rebecca was pregnant. I assume I would have been told that evening that I was the father. The jealous husband must have known that, and of course he would have known that it wasn't his. I'll go to London tomorrow and see Dr. Baker. I'll tag along. I can hardly wait for the headlines in the press. From Monte to Manderley, the suffering of a murderer's bride. How dare you! Maxim, give me your word. You will not leave Mandalay until this matter is clear. Why the hell should I leave Mandalay? Colonel, I'll go with you to London. Very well. We'll leave at eight.